Hello and welcome to Firecoda. This video is all about getting started with Code Igniter development in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you two approaches to get started with Code Igniter development in Visual Studio Code. First, configure PHP and IS Express settings in VS Code. Open Visual Studio Code. Since Code Igniter is a PHP framework, we have to configure PHP settings in Visual Studio Code. Go to settings, and type PHP in the search box, edit the settings.json to set the PHP executable path, and then I'm going to set the IS Express executable path. This is optional, but if you'd like to use IS Express Web Server for Code Igniter development, uh, then you have to set the IS Express app command port and the IS Express port. Because Code Igniter has built in Web Server Spark, you can use the Spark Web Server to serve your Code Igniter application in a browser. Next, we are going to enable PHP extensions. Some of these extensions are used by the Coordinator framework, and the others are used to download Coordinator framework right inside Visual Studio Code. Go to the PHP installation folder and find the PHP configuration file. Edit the configuration file. Scroll down. So here is the extensions. Enable these extensions. Enable FTP, file info, GMP, INTL, MB string, video underscore MySQL. PDO underscore SQLite SQLite 3 XSL Zip and all the way down here we have some more extensions enable these extensions as well so to enable these extensions uh, you have to get rid of the leading semicolon if it is already there Next, we are going to install Git and Composer. First, download Git from the web. Git is a distributed version control uh, system. You can download Git for uh, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. All major platforms are supported. For Windows, you have 32-bit and 64-bit setup. Whichever your machine supports, you, you download the appropriate uh, setup. If you have the, uh, Git installed, then you will have the clone Git repository in the start section of the Visual Studio Code. Next, we are going to install Composer. Go to VS Code Extensions and type Composer. Composer lets you to download packages and install dependencies. The Composer has been already installed. If you have Composer installed, you have access to the Composer commands from the command palette. The first approach is to download Coordinator using Git repository. Type in Coordinator. 
select the core igniter 4 PHP framework select the destination repository so we have downloaded the core igniter framework Uh, the composer.log file is missing. Click install to install composer.log, which will also install the framework dependencies. The download is complete. Now uh, go to view and open terminal to save the Laravel application using the spark web server first uh, uh, edit the .env file and comment the environment uh, variable Switch to development mode to get detailed error messages in browser. To save the Coordinator application using the built-in Spark uh, web server, we have to invoke the PHP command. So in order to invoke PHP command, we have to add the PHP executable in the path variable. So this is the path to the PHP executable that was added in the environment variables. So invoke PHP command and as part serve. Coordinated development server has started at this URL. Copy the URL and set that in the base URL. Control click the URL to open in the browser. So there you have it, we have the Coordinator Framework installed. Now you can start building Coordinator application. The second approach at Coordinator is using Composer. Command palette, show and run commands. Composer, create project. Create a folder. I'm going to name it as Code Igniter. Choose folder and then enter the package name. Select the Code Igniter for framework. The Code Igniter framework has been downloaded. Open the folder. So this time we're going to use the IS Express web server to set the Code Igniter application in a browser. For that we have to copy the web.config file in the Code Igniter root folder. Open the web.config file. So our index.php file is inside public folder. 
So therefore we have to modify the rewrite URL to include the public folder. And also include the public folder in the default document. Either you can start uh, from the left side or you can start from the command palette. So we have successfully installed Codeigniter framework. We can start building Codeigniter application.